Six months ago, a gruesome discovery in state game lands in Perry County. A man's skeletal remains were found. Police say he was murdered, but they still don't know who he is or who killed him. They shared new details with our Ali Lane for this Mid-State Mystery. Just off Idle Road in Rye Township, Perry County, you'll find a peaceful, almost idyllic stretch of woods. It is a very secluded area. But evidence markers are a clear reminder that something horrible was discovered here. Well, state police spent the last three days here in state game lands 170 after human remains were discovered by someone walking through the woods. It was late May. A man gathering wildflowers found the skeletal remains at the base of a steep hill, an area not visible from the road above. Uh, Idle Road is just above us, up the steep embankment, uh, approximately 80 yards, and the skeletal remains were fi found right here. Trooper uh, Donald Tuning says disagree. the man was clearly it's murdered, terrible. shot multiple times. But beyond that, there's not much he can be certain of including the man's identity. At this point, we have no, uh, no possible matches from the Harrisburg, Cumberland County, uh, Perry County area. Police say the man was likely between 45 and 70 years old, 5'11 to 6'6. And in an effort to identify him, they've also released this new information only to ABC 27. They say he had brownish gray hair and absolutely no dental restoration. His teeth were in very poor condition. And what's more, police say he had a medical screw in his lower right leg, just above the ankle. He had a previous injury. We believe it was an older injury because the bone had actually healed around the screw. So at some time in his life, he had some trauma to that area and a screw was implanted there. Based on leaf cover and other evidence, investigators believe the man's body was here at least seven months, maybe as long as 20 months. So they say he could have gone missing any time from the fall of 2012 to the fall of 2013. It's difficult to tell, but from what we can what we can see, uh, there was only one uh, layer of leaf, leaf cover over the remains. How did he get there? Who left him at the base of this steep embankment? And why did someone want him dead? All questions police hope they will someday be able to answer, but only after they determine who he was. We'd like to get this individual identified so we could move on to the apprehension of the perpetrator. Uh, and hopefully this does generate some leads. Allie Lanyon, ABC 27. State police put the man's DNA into a national database and they're waiting for word of any possible matches. If you have any information about this man's identity or his killer, call state police at 567-3110 or Perry County Crime Stoppers, their number 1-866-210-8477. And there is a reward for information that leads to an arrest.